of game design. Cutting something, alright. Cutting edge. There's gonna be a lot of cutting in this. Oh no! Um, oh no! I hope not. I mean, I kind of hope so. I hope so. I hope so, because that means the players will be doing well. Ah. They're going to be doing a score challenge, and the more dinosaurs and turtles and things you kill, and the more lollipops you eat, the higher your score will be. Wait, so murder and lollipops. Okay. Where, where, can, I, where can I get an experience like that? <laughs> oh, dinosaur. Here at twitch.tv slash brosentia. Yeah. Welcome to all the weird crap that shows stuff. up. I don't even do this stuff on my stream. This is an exclusive that I do for you. Oh my gosh, exclusive, everybody. Ooh, ooh, flash those lights. Uh, play the siren. Woo! Woo! Exclusive. Uh, Takusa Grande, I guess. Uh, did, have you seen this game elsewhere, though? Is this one of those, like, games that people actually know? Or is this, like, the well, great Well, yeah, mode? I mean, it, it's really well known. There's, like, three YouTube videos of it with upwards of, like... Like, a couple of them have, like, 40 views. One of them actually has a thousand views, which kind of... Yeah, I know. I know. And it's in English. Wow, and I'm like... Jeff. I know. I'm sorry to disappoint everybody. But... But the thing is, of all of the videos that are up there, nobody goes very far into the game because I think even the videos that are 20 minutes long, people just died and got frustrated and quit. So. Oh, good. We're going to have the most dinosaur content that is available for the internet. I'm excited. Yeah. Somebody asked about the lollipops. They are what is called suckers, not what is called popsicles. So what platform is this? Uh, is Super Nintendo? RDB? No, come on, bro, Sencha. I don't I know. Maybe they, Super Nintendo they made a few games. Super Nintendo games in the UK. I thought that you were slipping. Well, yeah, they, they, they do have those in the UK, but when would I have one of those? Maybe today, but apparently not. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I haven't... Uh... I haven't done anything with Nintendo since, like, 1993. My name's Jeff. We're having something on Acorn Archimedes. I love putting acorns up my nose. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that, that, um... <laughs> you got me there, bro, Sancha. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> See, uh, I read you like Archimedes a book. Acorn Archimedes was, um... In, in the UK, it was used in uh, most schools for... Uh, a number of years and um, it was uh, it was pretty powerful some of the versions had uh, 25 megahertz Ooh. and um, um, one or two megabytes of RAM uh, they're using an emulator called Arculator for Windows and I'm able to set it up for them to have four megabytes of RAM so you know there shouldn't be any complaining oh my gosh four megabytes what are you gonna do with all that RAM I don't know. The uh, the instructions for this game, the developers complaining like, you know, I made this compatible for people with one megabyte of RAM, but you should really effing get some more. <laughs> well, look, back in the day, it was hard, okay? Yeah, and this it is- It cost you know, money. Yeah, but you know, the schools had money. Schools always have money. Jeff. No, no, they don't. They really that's why don't. The, that's why the military has to have bake sales and schools have all the money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm totally convinced. Well, here are the players for today, uh, everybody. If, yeah, be excited. I'm yeah, probably going to have to recapture well, yeah. because this is a weird emulator and Jeff likes to do weird things to me. Uh, where do you want them to start, by the way? And are there any continues they're asking? Of course there are no continues. Who do you take me for? Uh, they can uh, they can start at the screen that they're on. It uh, sort of bounces between the um, high score and the splash screen. So where they are right now is perfect. Oh, Jeff, you're in the high scores. 
I did. I made it. Who's Andrew? I don't know. Whoever had this game before me. Stupid Andrew. <laughs> this is what happens when you rent games. Andrew just ruins everything. Well, okay, I'm hoping... we're going to do a countdown, Jeff. What should chat right, spam? All right, uh, dinos. And if you don't have any dinos sauce, and if you don't have any of those turtles, oh, I like and turtles. If you don't have any of those blood, just say the cutting edge of game design. Oh, the cutting edge of game design. Sure, if you want to spam boring words instead of pictures. Yeah, I know. Not everybody has cute spam. pictures, though. Spam! Countdown has happened! Spam! Yeah. Oh, spam. no. Tardy, what? Tardy smart this is? Is that English? Uh, apparently it's British. I wish we had Faizu to translate this. Well, Faizu... Can you explain what Tardy is? Are you Tardy? I have no... Oof, I don't I don't know if Faizu's... Oh, there, here he is. Hello, uh, Faizu. Faizu knows this game. Oh, of course. Wait, Faizu knows this game? He probably played it as a little kitten. Around, hey, I saw dinosaurs in half. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if somebody, uh, you know, had had played this. It's just not something Americans would ever know. That taught what? Something. Yeah, I don't understand what they're saying here. Okay, so uh, this game is made by uh, someone named Tom Cooper, and he's made a number of other games. So ah. a lot of the things that the dude is saying are advertisements for the other games. Um, I don't know what the expression tardy smart that is means. Um, but I'm I'm seeing in chat you know what makes sense. No, that was that's another thing he says. Okay. Yes, another thing he says is so you know that what makes sense. Mammoth's Pfizer butt says, Mammoth's butt is dead. Pfizer yeah. says tardy is like a tart. Uh so smart like a tart? Is that what you're saying? Tarts aren't very smart. Kinda sour. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, so he's a caveman, cool. so maybe he's not very smart. Can't be smart if you are cavemen wearing sunglasses while the sun is going down. Look, it's going to be hard to see in just a few minutes. Oh, I like the meteor in the background. Why, Jeff? Oh. Why is this here? Yeah, we, we can't really wait for the meteor to kill all the dinosaurs. We need to take care of it a little faster. Ah, apparently, uh, apparently uh, the term is kind of uh, a term for, what do, I, what do I even say? Lady of the night. Could be gentleman of the night too. Could be dinosaur of the night. Rah! Yeah. The oldest profession, so sleeping in and accidentally, like, not setting your alarm. Got it. Okay, that's what it means. So, basically, here's how the controls work on this. Um, there are only three buttons to push. The default is Z, X, I'm sorry, Z, X, and C. Um, oh, so it's like an RPG Z maker C, game. Left and right. What's that? So it's like Game Maker or RPG Maker or something. Okay. Wait, uh, Z and C are left and right? Z and C are left and right. Okay, that's and not X good. It's jump. No. But the game comes with a little little utility to change the key bindings. So being the nice person I am, I let them use the program. Aw. Um, yeah. That's so kind of you. And also so, um, yeah, that's that's pretty bad. I think most people are using left and right arrow keys and space to jump. Yeah, because, you know, they got to have it easy. Run away uh, from the mammoth. OK, there we go. Maurice, I think, is doing well. Hard to say because I really don't know what's happening right now. Uh, four, so did his chainsaw stop? Yeah, so when you get hit, your chainsaw stops. OK. And you have to take a moment to, um, uh, I guess it's like a gas powered chainsaw so it takes a moment for it to get going again i mean that may, well you know occasionally you pull it and 
Uh, takes a little while for the chainsaw. You know, you, you don't know if the motor is going to completely start or if you need to give it another shot. Uh, just like starting a lawnmower, if you've ever yeah. used one of those. More deadly, not much more deadly. Both of those are kind of deadly. Do people still use gas lawnmowers? Uh, I bet my I'm family does, yeah. What I used as a kid. I mean, we had a rideable gas lawnmower as well. Oh, uh, okay. Later, like when I, about when I was grown up and ready to move out, my dad's like, well, okay, you can't mow the lawn anymore. We better get this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, speaking of that, though, I had really bad hay fever, you know, and cut grass always got my allergies going and yeah so it was basically a weekly occurrence that i got to torture myself <laughs> good times good times wow um so uh yeah there are no continues uh there are three lives that are also sort of serve as your health meter and uh here's what's going to make this interesting um, to progress well in this game, you have to go slowly. Um, and you could, if you weren't going for score, skip some of these dinosaurs. Um, but they but, are going for high score. But I wanted to see maximum carnage, so I set, uh, I set the score as the goal for them. Aha! Oh no! Proton John, what are you imagining over there? I can't believe it. <laughs> Jeff! I think we have some Ill illicit thoughts. Uh, <laughs> there, there's nothing illicit. Uh, she's she's fully dressed. Maybe. Um, so yeah, there's not much you can do with the three hits and no continues. Um, you just got to be careful. Okay. So it looked like Proton Don had. I didn't catch exactly, but. Something like 17,000, somewhere in that ballpark. Oh. So a lot of this, we just sort of need to get the timing down and figure out, like, okay, the woolly mammoth is going to go to that part, and then he's going to turn around. And they don't, I mean, there's there's not, like, a warning. He just turns around. The, en the enemies just, like, turn around instantly and start walking towards you, so... You don't yeah. have time to get away. You really need to get the timing down. So I do see that this maker uh, created a couple other games. Son of Gyranus and Darkwood. Uh, Dinosaur on this website is the highest rated of the three. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. <laughs> I, uh, I played Darkwood. I didn't really care for it that much. Um, well, neither did anybody else. Son of Jaranus was, was good, but the sequel was better. <laughs> the sequel was better? Yes. Well, okay, I didn't I didn't know there was a sequel. But... <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Tom Cooper, uh, for Tom this Cooper, video. Tom Cooper, great guy for making a lot of this making a lot of this stuff freeware. Actually, that's really awesome. Uh, I mean, considering that it's Acorn Archimedes, I don't imagine it's making too many sales these days. Uh, being able to share it with public voluntarily, yeah, it is pretty dang awesome. Yeah, we get to uh, we get to enjoy stuff like this. But honestly, like this is not it's not a terrible game for among Acorn Archimedes games go, and it. It's silly, right? And um, so that makes it kind of cool. So, and um, oh, it yeah. controls like okay. The the ground, like the platforms, don't have hitboxes that really make sense. Um, but in general, the enemies do. It's just like the whole concept of it is just jank. <laughs> like it's executed okay. Yeah, like. Honestly, 
the game's not good, but it still runs really well. I haven't really noticed any lag at all. And for an old system like the Acorn Archimedes, you know, I don't imagine that was a trivial effort. Everything scrolls smoothly. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the background has a little bit of movement when you jump. That's a nice little touch that, you know, honestly, uh, I think I took a look at it and I didn't think that the background was moving at all, but it, it does. Yeah. yeah. And the meteors are pretty cool, too. Oh, I like the meteors. Yeah. Pew, pew. That's not the noise that meteors make, but okay. <laughs> Some of them do, especially meteors made out of me. Pew, 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 pew. If I oh, became yeah. a meteor, yeah. I would make so many cool sound effects. Yeah, I believe you. I do. <laughs> uh, yeah, he... Oh my gosh, I do see that there's some other games, uh, and I have some information here. Tom Cooper was one of the Acorn scene's best game coders. I say was because he has now left the Acorn stable to program PC games for Psygnosis. And I yeah. am familiar with Psygnosis. Why? Yeah, really a pretty talented. You know Psygnosis. Yeah, they made uh, a lot of the Lemmings games, I think, at least the latest yeah. one. Spice World. That's probably the. Oh <laughs> no. Yeah, they made the Spice Girls game. <laughs> I wasn't delusional. <laughs> And, and our, our favorite, Pugsy. Ah, uh, yeah, Pugsy. Actually, did he work on Pugsy? Oh, I gotta find out. Okay, we're doing research, everybody. But Psygnosis came from a slightly different place because they were like demo scene before they started doing games. And they were, I think, mostly Amiga. I mean, they, um, they did Amiga, I, some ZX Spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. Um... And Tom Cooper seemed to have come from mostly a game design background. Yeah. But okay. he just he himself had like, I don't know, five or six commercial releases and then a bunch of freeware ones. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this cowbell. I like the cowbell. Good stuff. We need more cowbell. No, this is the appropriate amount of cowbell. There is uh, no appropriate amount of cowbell except for more. No. Well, okay, maybe. I'm just not the biggest fan, okay? Well, there's no accounting for this. Wait a second, I gotta look at this game. Oh, okay. This is something we're going to take a look at later. Okay, everybody, do not pay attention to what I'm saying here because uh, you just shouldn't. It, it, that's a good general rule. Yeah. Pay no attention to the laughing that I have here because we've got a Cusa Grande match going on and everybody is making a pretty good push. Proton John, 21,000 points. Remember, the points are what matter in this match. One of the things I love about this game is that the points total doesn't end in zero, necessarily. Which is, uh... Why? I always wondered why, like... I guess it just sort of came from the arcades, where they wanted it to look cool like you had a lot of points, but it was always like, you'd have a thousand, or fifty, or sometimes twenty-five, but like... Twenty-one thousand four hundred thirteen points. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You know... I'm just trying to think. Uh, with... But it's a function of the way the game is designed, right? I mean, it's not like he, he was being like, this lollipop's going to be 13. You get a point for, like, every frame that your saw is connecting with the dinosaur. So that's how it happens. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Well, but honestly, if you get five points instead of 50 points, it just feels like they ripped you off, okay? Uh, well, have you ever seen scoring in job. Mahjong? 
It's like, oh, you had a good Mahjong hand. You get 8,500 points. It's like, okay, thank you. Is that good? He's like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, no, I, I did, uh, I did spades. I didn't really do Mahjong. I've been playing a good amount of Richie Mahjong. Whatever, other, other types of Mahjong are fake. Wow. There you go. It's fighting words. Yeah. So there are 15 levels in this. I don't even know what to expect, like, second level. <laughs> okay. I, I don't, I mean, who knows? Nobody's gotten that far in this game, ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking a look, by the way, at this article that I found about Tom, where they talk about all of these other games that he made for the Acorn. And then the last post on the forum says, why doesn't the list above the interview include Dinosaur? Perhaps the best game, in my opinion. Then again, I haven't played everything he's done. Not had a uh, RSCOS machine working since I sold me a Risk PC about 1999. It's like, okay, so you're like, it's his best game because it's the only one I played. That's fair. That's how I just, like when they're doing like what's the uh, award for the for the best picture? I'm like well, the one I've seen, obviously. I mean, unless it was horrible, in which case I root for all of the others. But I've usually only seen one of them. Yeah. I mean, who goes to the movies anymore? When you could be watching twitch.tv slash Brooksensha. I mean, you could definitely watch a lot of other things <laughs> if you really wanted. <sighs> Just so everybody knows, by the way, uh, this is a pretty intense match, you know. What I see, uh, they all have 22 points, so first place is needed in order to get into the bracket. Second place may move on to the tiebreaker. Yeah, so while we're, we're having a, a good time and joking, this game requires uh, constant focus. And uh, you know oh, how- Oh, because the peak bird. What? Oh, yeah, there, like on Chakazam's bird. screen. There's a pink bird. Yeah, there, there, there's some pink birds. Don't pay attention. The bird's going to murder you. Yeah, they all want to murder you, but um, you're the one with the chainsaw, and they have, I guess, their toxic bodies that touch you and die. Um, it seems better than a chainsaw, but... At any rate, um, yeah, this game is... You need to pay really close attention to it because... You don't have a lot of health, and um, there are spots as you move on where it's really hard to avoid damage. Uh, and so you really need to conserve your health, every bit of health, as much as possible. Ooh. And, you know, it looks like uh, uh, Jackazam's up to 25,000 points, but they have no idea how far everybody else is. Yeah, she... Right? She, she's doing really well, but at the same time, you know, you got to have one good push in order to get a high score. And, you know, if you are at your highest score so far, just keep trying with that life. Unfortunately, yeah. Jackazam is dead. Maurice is at 20,000 points and is looking to possibly pass Jackazam. Proton John has had a good push as well. Uh, someone, 325, like all of these players are so good. I know, right? You saw that, like, I couldn't get past 10,000 with my bass attached. <laughs> oh, you couldn't? No, you saw my high score on the high score list. I was like 10,400 or oh, something. Oh, I thought maybe uh, you were secretly Drew. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, okay. Believe me, if I got those scores, I would be taking credit for it. You're like, ha ha, look at me. My name's Jeff, and I just beat the high score. Yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be... Uh, Andrew. The cutting edge of game design. This is it's so dumb. So the hearts give you an extra caveman dude, which is great. That's helpful. Um Yeah. So uh there aren't there aren't a ton of them, unfortunately. Um 
I think I've only seen one. I don't know, maybe there's some others hidden somewhere. <gasps> Maurice! No! I think Maurice is sad. I, I'm sad for Maurice. Like, is this game also level-based? Are there... Uh, there are 15 levels. This is level two? Uh, you know, they kind of all blur together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. They, look, they, they all look the same. I don't know. Hey, Proton John has 13,000 points and no deaths yet and is imagining the ladies. Well, oh, it's one lady. I don't know. Maybe they were stacked on top of each other. <laughs> it's hard to say. No, John! That is death. Like you know those dinosaurs in Final Fantasy VI, where all of the all of the sprites are on top of each other, and so you think you're fighting one, but no, it's like five. Ah, we're little tiny stack dragons. Could be like, yeah, like that. Yeah, it, it, it could be many identical women in his dream, but he can only see one of them in his thoughts. Yeah, from his from his perspective. Yeah. Aha! Proton John getting the heart and getting an extra life. Maurice has had to start over. Someone 3255 getting a really good push now as well. 20,231 points. Remember, this is a point-based match, which means whoever gets the highest score takes first. And they want to take first because that person is guaranteed to move on to the bracket. I mean, if you want to play more bad games, you want to take first. If you're like, well, this was fun and I never want to play any of your games again, then, you know, you don't have to do so well. I mean, this game might be frustrating, but it's hardly the worst thing I'm going to dish out. Yeah. I'm, I'm saving a lot for the brackets, so... Oh, I, I imagine. No, someone three two five five fell through the platform. Honestly, it looks like edge detection for the platforms correlates directly with the very front of the platform, not with what you're standing on. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The I was calling hit boxes. I don't think that's really accurate. But well, uh, collision box, whatever it is. Yeah, just ignore the, the rest of the platform, platform because. Just imagine, like, for every platform, you hover about half a foot above it, and if you imagine it like that, then you can tell, more or less, where you have to stand. Yeah. Well, that's the kind of uh, oh, I thing you like to see in, in Kuso games. It's just, just a little of that jank. <laughs> oh, this, yeah, this is jank, all right. Let me tell you. A little jank, some cuteness. Um, some birds. A lot of death. Oh, so much death. Proton John isn't even going to bother chainsawing that bird in half, which I really can't blame him. I think that the strat here is to ignore the birds. Yeah. Uh, as far as points. Oh my gosh, um, that and... jump! I mean, if you have enough... Um health saved up there's some jumps where you can just be like fine i'm gonna take damage from that bird fine um but yeah i mean there's some there's some really difficult platforming even though the game early on leads you to believe that most of the difficulty is going to be from uh, the enemies it's really sort of the combination of the birds and the platforming at the same time that makes it really hard. Actually, because this game keeps track of high score, yes, this is going to be relatively easy to score. Oh, yes, Jeff. it will be. You're very welcome. That means I don't even have to watch the game at all. Let me go do something else. <laughs> <laughs> no! It doesn't Ow. work that way. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you at least have to be here uh, to hear my puns. No, I'm going to watch the game. I was just joking. I love seeing the happy turtle get sawn in half. It's great. I'm, I'm glad you find it exciting and not a dino snore. My gosh, I said no. <laughs> okay, yeah, for those who are asking, by the way, if you're here and new, the matches are an 
hour long. Uh, usually it's whoever makes the most progress in the game, but because this game is kind of very samey looking in many of the levels, we're going based off of high score. Uh, and so, you know, whenever they do get a game over, they enter something in for the score, it'll be very easy for us to go and review. With that said, Jaxum, um, all of them have gotten over 20,000 at this point, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, they had all gotten 20,000 points, like, three minutes into the game. I was like, I played this for about 40 minutes. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm not good at video games, and I was just... Um, I was just checking to make sure that um, you know it doesn't it doesn't get stuck around ten thousand. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know that that you know I just didn't want to go too much higher because uh, that that wouldn't be helpful. Yeah, I don't imagine it would be too helpful there. Oh my gosh. Nobody wants to see me do well. <laughs> It's fine if you do well, Jeff. It's fine. You you gotta do well sometimes. I did well at uh, Bible Buffet. Yeah, you beat me. What the crap? <laughs> I beat everyone. How? I didn't even have to know any Bible. Because I'm really good at RNG. Oh yeah, that's right. You just did well at randomness. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, yeah, Bible Buffet, well, then again, we didn't actually, uh, nobody needed to know any of the Bible trivia, they just had to be decent-ish at playing the levels, and decent-ish at getting lucky, and unfortunately, I was not very lucky. I'm sorry, but it happens to all of us once in a while. Sometimes you lose at Bible Buffet, and sometimes you have to play Dinosaur. Rawr. At least the music's rocking. Yeah, it's pretty good music. The early version had sound effects but no music, and the later version had music but no sound effects. I definitely am a, I'm a big fan of the music instead of the sound effects. Oh yeah, I agree. Oh my gosh. How many people are there named Tom Cooper in this world? I'm like trying to find more information, but like, ev it seems like every other dev is Tom Cooper. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then there are so many Tims as well. Tim Cooper. Oh yeah. Gotta I get to others. Yeah. Maybe it's a pseudo name. I don't know. I don't know at all. Did this Tom Cooper go on to make Formula One games? I don't think so. It's gonna be my bet. Did they make Secrets of the Dragon Wheel? That sounds like a gambling game. It's not, but it's, it sounds like it's a slot machine. Maybe he did. 3D art? I don't know. Did it, Tom Cooper? That's the same one. Crap. Okay. What about this other one? Uh. Also did Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Did he do Harry Potter? I don't know. And the Grid games? Sure, sure. What about Todd Cooper, huh? Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame 5 topsy-turvy games. Maybe he worked on that too. I think he had a Hunchback game once. Yeah, maybe it, it was, was done by um... Tom. I, I can't remember what system it was for. It was certainly not the one that uh, anybody knew. I want to say it was Wonderswan, but it could have been DOS. Uh, of course, Wonderswan. Yeah. And not even the color one. I don't. Oh, it was DOS. All right, it was DOS. Oh yeah, that was a. F I actually kind of like that one. Not gonna lie. Like, every Hunchback game I've played has been surprisingly Somebody's still decent. upset about it. <laughs> Somebody's yelling at me Tempest Roll. <laughs> Tempest Roll is very yeah. angry about that game. I don't know. Every Hunchback game I've played, I've liked. I need more Hunchback no, not games. Not the Game Boy. Not the Game Boy one, Lupine. I, I, I wouldn't do uh, anything that well known. Yeah, I like that one. But yeah, my grandmother 
Uh, my grandmother was a hunchback, so if there were a game with her in it, that would probably be literally the best game in existence, okay? There's some interesting games with grandmas in them. Oh, yeah. Um, Hunchback Grandma, though. I'm just imagining this right now. Oh, look at Maurice, by the way. 25,000 points and all lives. Uh, this could be a new high score here for all the players. 26,000 points. Yeah, if you're careful with those woolly mammoths, they really give you a lot of points. And, uh... Well, they got a lot of meat. And you got a big chainsaw. Not sure why Caveman has a chainsaw, but, you know, I don't ask. Well, how else are you going to kill the dinosaurs? Spear? Do you see any spears? No. All right. I mean, you could, like, okay, use the chainsaw, cut open a bird, takes it, take its bones, and then kill the dinosaurs with bone spears. Wow. See, hey, I we're solved... onto a boss. <gasps> well, Maurice just kind of skipped the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, right? But, uh, you know, this is a score run, so whatever yeah. you think is good. I mean, is the boss worth a lot of points? Maybe? I don't know. I never got to a boss. I've never seen anybody get to the boss. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you know, now know that we're, we're half an else, hour though. in, all of the players... Uh, have probably learned the basics of the game and some of the mechanics there, as well as found some places where uh, they've died. What they should probably do in the next attempt or two is really dedicated to taking things slow uh, and getting a good high score push. Uh, honestly, you, if you take things slow and survive, you're going to uh, be able to get a decent score going on. Proton John making the impossible jump. You know, one of the things that's really interesting that's going on in a match like this, where there's only um, one guaranteed person to survive and where the game sort of makes you go slow, is like what the metagame is for all of them. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a mind like, you're going to be playing mind games because you want to go fast, but going fast might not be the right answer. You want to think about the ladies, Proton John, but thinking about the ladies, is that going to distract you? Sorry, lady singular. <gasps> no, Proton John's chainsaw was out of gas. And that is death. Maurice, meanwhile, hitting 30,000 points. Pretty significant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's not a it's not a real fun mechanic that you have no ranged weapon and the uh, basically like a sword that you have uh, is non-functional every time you get hit for several seconds. Um, it it makes this game pretty rough, especially when you have enemies that are a lot more agile than you. Okay, Proton John asked for a rank check. I'm not 100% sure, but he's not in first at this point. Maurice definitely is. Yes. Uh, and I think that, you know, sometimes uh, we do allow players to ask what their current state is. And now, Proton John, this is actually a helpful thing in this match, I'd say. Other times, like, if you're trying to make progress through stages, it can sometimes just really intimidate you. But with this, if you're going for a high score, you know what high score you got and that you need to get higher than that. That helps you right. know if you should be going slow and taking it a little bit... Uh, calmer just to rack up the points or if it's okay to speed up like you've done before so yeah especially when we're only half an hour into the match um, you have no idea what your rank means yes because there's so many more runs left it's definitely a helpful bit of information that I, I you know I personally never ask how I'm doing comparatively but I might consider doing that when it comes to a high score uh, attempt. It's too bad they're not all playing the same copy of the game, so it would be like actual high scores. 
Ah, oh, man. Yeah, and, like, we can't merge them all unless you can figure out how to edit data tables on the Acorn Archimedes. I mean... Can't be that hard, right? That is correct. I'm not going to say any more about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm always up to things. Uh, but this game actually has a two-player mode if you hit the print button on your keyboard. Um, there's there's a, a, a second character. There's a second character? Yeah, so you could do... I don't know if there's any kind of like... Uh, internet play that you can do with an Archimedes emulator. Uh, but um, the next time people are allowed to get together in person, uh, they could they could do a little, little co-op of this. Oh, nice! Everybody, you wanna you wanna be cavemen brothers? It sounds pretty awesome. You know, I I love that the art style for this. They went for in the 80s and 90s. This type of caveman was really pervasive. Uh, the one where he was more hair than human uh oftentimes giant face i never really have liked the shaggy hair caveman but it kind of works for this dude i imagine his hair would get caught in the chainsaw every now and then though maurice forty thousand points he's pretty well groomed caveman very attractive I didn't say that, I just... Oh. What? What? You can, you can like cavemen who dress like this. You it's can. Fine. I, I, you can. I just... I, that is not what I said. By the way, someone is at 31,000 points. That's someone 3255 on the bottom right. 31,000 points. He is making a pretty dang good push as well. Uh, and honestly, everybody is going a little bit slow. Look, everybody has at least three lives. Proton John has four. Uh, but he also goes this really risky route. As you saw right there, he uh, had an unfortunate death. Nope. Uh, oh. It's true, Jeff. That's how you know the platforming is hard. When somebody successfully lands on a platform and just walks right off of it. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, it's okay if you don't think the caveman is particularly attractive. He's uh, he's okay in my book. I mean, here's the thing. The round like, nose? Yeah. Big nose was my first and only caveman love. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it was the um it was the first speed game that I mean, I don't ever do speed runs. It was the first one that I actually um, found some significant glitches for. Oh, John, I think the best option would probably just be a game over yeah. right now and restart. Yeah. We'll have to see if he opts for that, because I think everybody has passed him at this point. Jakazam is making a fantastic push as well. Yeah, but... Uh... Morrissey's 42k is going to be hard to beat, um, but someone's not too far behind. Well, I think everybody has at least one more solid long attempt uh, where they can take their time and, you know, not worry too much about rushing for a good score. Uh, oh, Proton Jung getting greedy here. Yeah. Can't get too greedy. You know what else is so frustrating? Like, I, I watch a lot of speedrunners, and, like, when you hit some of these enemies, you have this huge bounce off of them. I'm like, this would be such great, like, um, um, way to skip over parts of these levels, but it is so... I mean, first, nobody's going to speedrun this, and second, like, health is so important. Please don't speedrun this, chat, for your sake and mine. <laughs> I, I don't necessarily want to see somebody speedrun this. I want to see somebody run it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I want to see Justin the game brought me some brats. He brought me brat. And Proton John skipped the boss as well. Well, good. Boss is dumb. Don't fight yeah. the boss if you don't have to. Wow. 
Aha! And the slopes are really rough. Um, like, where Proton John's... Oh no! John, unfortunately, his chainsaw stopped working for a little bit. It seems yeah. like it does run out of fuel occasionally. John still has a good chance, I think, of pushing the score. Remember, it only needs one good attempt. That's all you need for a high score. It is not the cumulative amount of dinosaur blood that has been shed. It is only during one run. Every drop of blood is a point. It is. Yeah. It, have to be dinosaur. it can be any kind of blood except your own. Vampire blood. I love how the caveman, like, whenever your uh, chainsaw is touching an enemy, he has this huge smile on his face. I mean, it makes sense. Have you ever seen somebody using a chainsaw to cut stuff down? They're always happy. Even uh, when, like, there's blood pouring out of their victims? Well, I mean, usually you don't, you know, do things other than trees. Like, they're for trees, Jeff. Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, this unnamed hero begs to differ with you. Ah, by the way, someone 3255 actually did fight and kill the boss, and that seemed like a decent amount of points, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Could be worth it, then. I love uh, the idea of having optional bosses. I don't know if that was intentional or just <laughs> or just that like somehow you're glitching the sprite out and it comes back. But either okay. way, um, it's pretty cool. Like our game's Honestly, hard enough. You can just skip the bosses if you want. I'd say if the music is this good, it was intentional. I'll go ahead and give the guy credit. Tom, whoever you are, wherever you are these days, thank you for letting us skip the boss, because I don't know. Just imagine a pacifist run of this game. <laughs> you have a chainsaw. You can't even swing it. It just sticks out in front of you. How are you going to keep it from hurting be them? It really hard to avoid damage. Yeah. To avoid doing damage. Well, I mean, you wow. can deal a little bit of damage as long as you don't kill it. Wow, pacifist percent. No, that's not what pacifist mean. Pacifist doesn't mean you can take a chainsaw to somebody until they're almost dead. And then be like, well, I didn't kill them. <laughs> that's what it means for me. I, I know what pacifist is. I am I am a, a, uh, a pacifist player in Super Animal Royale. I'm, I'm one of the top pacifist players of the very few people in the world who would ever want to do that. <laughs> I love it. Every once in a while, I see one of them and they're I'm like, yeah. like 20th best out of 20. <laughs> do, do you play that game, Versant? Well, yeah, I've played it. It's um, going to be actually uh, coming out soon um, because it's been in pre-release for years now. It's no longer going to be early access? Oh, baby. No longer going to be early access. That'll be five access. More It'll be normal access. Yeah! It's actually a lot of fun. It's a battle royale game that isn't annoying. It's a casual battle royale. Yeah, you don't have to take, like, an hour to play a match, you know? It's like 15 minutes. 15 minutes, you're done. That's if you win. <laughs> if you're me, uh, the matches last about two to three minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that but happens, too. We're still, it's a very low-stress atmosphere, as, as, as much as a battle royale can be. Because uh, you can just hop right back into another game. And, like, it it's not like one of these things where you're just hiding out and then, like, there's one frantic moment. You can just, you know, the game prioritizes mobility. So you're just running around a whole bunch. You're an animal, killing other animals, unless you're me, in which yeah. case you're um, hiding. And, <laughs> Jeff! Well, that's that's the pacifist way. To hide? Okay. Battle Royale, yes. <laughs> Maybe for you. 
K. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I'm getting, getting a, a couple things set up in the cool. meantime, just so we have things ready in the, the no, future the for the next round. Wait, the turtle's in the lava? It's gotta be the tasty. The turtle fell down the endless pool of lava. It's gotta be tasty after that, you know? But that's really that's really bad because then you don't get points for um, cutting it to pieces. Yeah, but you can eat it, and no, it gets rid of the salmonella. Well, I don't know. Just pick it up out of lava. Out of lava, you can't you can't go down and retrieve it. That's not how that works. By the way, someone three two five five at the bottom right is at forty seven thousand points. This oh. is a good push. Oh, I believe that is a lead. Uh, Chad is saying it is right off the platform. But Proton John is making a good push right now to try to get caught back up. Jack is on currently at 38,000 points. Proton John just killed the boss and got hey. a good amount of points out of that. Stop thinking about the ladies, John. Stop it. No, he keeps thinking about him. I literally just told you not to. So someone got 47,113. That's huge. That not too far behind right now. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, if she's just careful and kills some of these mammoths that come along. Not too far off. Still one and a half. I don't know whether you call them hit points or lives. They're basically the same thing. Hit points, lives, what's the difference? Yeah. What's the difference to Jeff? I mean, it's kind of a weird system, isn't it? Like, you, you when you die, you, uh, you you lose a person, but... True. Um, but also, it, it measures your health. I like it. I actually think that it's a very smart idea to use a single space... Yes. Uh, with two different pieces of information and they're both very easy to see uh it's it's a good like i'm not sure you need to see dinosaur at the bottom the entire game but you know that's how these things worked a lot of <laughs> i mean it was like well maybe not i was trying to think like i don't really remember seeing that in too many games but um this uh this tom was a real entrepreneur and so this uh this caveman's constantly talking about these other games and shameless advertising and that Tom Cooper, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I feel like Tom Cooper, as soon as he moved over to Psygnosis, uh, disappeared. Or maybe he changed his name. He's like, I gotta change my name. Make sure nobody can find evidence that I existed. Uh, Jackazam's up to 42,000, still with one and a half cavemen. And uh, a few high, high point targets, if she's careful right here. Oh, and the lollipop, that's huge. The lollipop and the carrot. Three points Ooh. right there. Well, I like, like to do anything. Let's grab them. But like slopes are the real final boss in this game. They're rough. Ooh, and slope caused a hit. I think I actually found the Tom Cooper and confirmed Tom it would Cooper? be the one who worked on the Formula One video games after a while. Oh wow. Yeah? Okay. I did it! Jackazam's really close, 45,000. Oh, come on! Jackazam, are you gonna since pass? Since the don't respawn when you die, they don't respawn, so you, you can't use that as a strategy. Oh, look at the dinosaurs. Oh, are you gonna color a dinosaur? Aww. Okay, everybody, we have a small distraction. One of the best uh, GDQ speedruns. Oh, yeah, it was it was great. <laughs> but you know, the more dinosaurs you color, 
the fewer points you get. Because, you know, that it doesn't count. The thing is, someone 3255 does not know that he is in the lead. So I, I understand the humor of coloring a dinosaur, but one more push and he could further extend the lead because Jakazam has a really good chance of passing him up. Yeah. Proton John is also making a really good push right now. Proton John onto the next level. I wonder if there are higher scoring enemies coming up. Uh oh. Let me go ahead and refresh his stream to see if it is running now. There we go. Blah. <laughs> yeah, John is having a little fun with Comcast, as we all do. Jakazam, is she going to move in first? Oh, oh, we call Dana. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dana just made a, a clip of the her. Oh, uh, yeah. on this ugly dude. He's after you. Oh, he's dead. Good. The thing is, John's got to be careful, okay? Because he's only got one life left and only half of the health bar. So a single mistake could be enough to send yeah. him packing. 40,000 points, though. Yeah, because he's in third right now. I think he's in fourth right now. Maurice has definitely made a good push. Jakazam in second, someone in first. But Proton John, if he can play carefully and play well, he may move up from fourth. I think Jakazam's 47,000. That's first. I, seven seconds. I believe so. I can't remember someone's uh, full score. It was in the 47,000 range. I hope I didn't break someone. It's nope. like, I, I give up. I, I quit. I can't do any more Fuso. I'm just going to color dinosaurs now. Oh my gosh. So That's if Proton point. John wants to stay in this, he's got to make it up to the 47,000 point range. There is yeah. no staying in Kusagrande without making that. Uh, someone 3255 is enjoying coloring dinosaurs, but unfortunately has fallen to second. Like, I wonder if there is something good over to the left that John is going after. I don't I don't think John even knows what's over here. But it was a path and it seemed difficult. And usually difficult paths have something worthwhile. That one yeah. kind of didn't. There's nothing really good in this game other than health pickups. I mean, um, since they're going for score, you know, if you are able to get um, lollipops and carrots along the way, you definitely want to do those. But I don't know how valuable it is to go out of your way to get them. 46,000. From Reese. I'm really glad to see that everybody's like final run um, was really solid and that we're getting so close. Mm -hmm. um, although Jakazam might just blow this thing open right now. Proton John is really trying not to take any damage. Oh my gosh, because one hit and he could be dead. Yeah, well, there's enough time. Nobody else is. Uh, Nobody else has enough time to do a run. Yeah, Jagazam is still finishing up a run here. So uh, Proton Jagas needs to surpass um, someone to get to second. No, don't fall! Ah, uh, the bird! The bird, John! Oh, uh, 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 the turtle! And maybe that was maybe that was on purpose to get more points. I, 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 I don't think there. so. Like, killing the turtle is decent. Turtles are easy to kill. Oh, John! Don't do it! You need a heart, like, ASAP, okay? This snake isn't gonna give you a heart. Snake doesn't want anything except murder. Okay, I chainsaw am... on the turtle's butt. Yeah, watch out! The snake will jump at you, John. You do not want the snake to jump. There, chainsaw in John the turtle's was... face. That's good. Oh, this is so clutch. John's close. There's enough time. There is enough, enough time. There. there is enough time. Oh, jeez. I'm so stressed. Why? Why am I so stressed? 
this is this is the great drama you can only get at twitch.tv slash <laughs> yeah this little snake just crawling around and stressing <laughs> us out right now it's oh no watch out john it's coming That snake is is the worst. Oh my gosh. You know, if John can hold on to second, he may enter a tiebreaker. And that would be that would be very No! No! 45,000 points and that is a game over! Oh <laughs> So close. Well, it looks like we have our rankings Ooh. now. But Chakazam is still doing a playthrough, so I want to see what she can do for high score. Yeah. Wow. Someone quit with his sanity, or at least close <laughs> close enough to it. Um, so I think he can call that a win. I call it a win. Yeah, look at this dinosaur. Kind of, kind of pudgy, but hey, what dinosaur isn't pudgy? Uh, a lot of them. A lot of them are just like skin and bones, like the pterodactyls. They don't, they don't are have you a lot sure of... they could be fatty? They could. I guess we don't really know because we've only ever seen the bones. Yeah, have you ever seen robins? They're pudgsters, okay? Absolute tubby birds. Fair enough. Wow. 57,000. Oh, and they're just, just getting tons of points here from all these enemies. Yeah, honestly, I'm not calling it until Jakazam gets a game over, and Jakazam may actually move into the 60,000 point range. <laughs> Maurice is saying people in 1993 were a lot more easily entertained. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Doom was out that year. I think we're all pretty, pretty year before. By this. Yeah, and I am so entertained by this. <laughs> Maybe the highest score the world has ever seen. Probably. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. world doesn't pay attention to many of these things, you know? So has Jakazam been in brackets before? I feel like she has, yeah. Either last year or the year before. These are all very strong players. Aha, apparently she beat John and Cheesy, so this was kind of a little bit of a rematch. <laughs> oh... No, everybody, I want you to go and love all of the players because all of them have put on a fantastic show today. And considering how tense it got towards the end, Proton John had a strong amount of fight. And yeah, usually the last attempt is going to be your best attempt. It's just the platforming in this and telling where you need to land in order to stand on a platform. That is what did him in. But yeah. to be fair, the platforms are crap in this game. Because you hover over what is actually the hitbox for most of the platform. It, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Great on making one last attempt um, battling some windmills down there. Stupid windmills. I, you know, I, I figure don't stop until you're done. You know, don't stop until the match is over. You're probably not going to be able to get caught back up, but who knows? Uh, honestly, there are enough glitches in video games that there could potentially be a huge exploit that nobody knows about. It certainly happened before somebody discovers something pretty close to the end of the match, and either it's a glitch or sometimes it's intentional and just nobody noticed a certain combination yeah. of button presses, and, uh, and they just walk away with it yeah i think at this point you know i'd probably know that uh playing the game normally i would have no chance of getting back in so i would try dumb stuff and see if there is anything that would let me pass this score uh because 
there are no rules against using glitches unless explicitly said by the GM. Uh, which, I don't know, we, we, we did that with, what was it, Super... Uh, super Pitfall, yeah. Uh, but then we saw somebody, I, I think it was Meekins, who won a match of Athena, or... Uh, I don't, I don't remember. Slow Beef ended up getting eliminated because somebody found a really helpful glitch, uh, which I still have not been able to replicate. No, have I? I need to try tassing Athena just to see if it's doable. Well, Proton John may be out, but somebody named a dwarf Proton John. So John will be with us. John will live with us forever as a dwarf. You know what? I'm calling time. You know why? Jack Zum died. Yeah, that's it. We're done, Jeff. 1,850. That is Russia. huge. That... Remember, folks, I played this and got 10,000. <laughs> really, this Jeff? This is not an easy game. Wow. No, this is not easy at all. Jack Zum just crushed the competition. You know, she, she impressed me. It takes patience. Yeah. Uh, Mar Marcy, Maurice, <gasps> Maurice would like you. Why? Maurice, no. Why? I noticed you. <laughs> well, <laughs> hello there, Jakazam. Hello. Oh my gosh, congratulations. You blew everybody out of the water. Thank you. I, I thought I was behind for a long time. Uh, you were behind for a little bit, but as soon as you had, I, I think, past the 47,000 point mark, that is when uh, nobody had a chance, really, of catching up to you. Yeah, I, I think I was going too fast at the start. Usually I play games very cautiously, but knowing that I was up against a bunch of strong competitors, I kind of was trying to go a bit too fast. So probably with like 40 minutes or so to go, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try to be as cautious as possible and just get as many points as I can because I realized just getting there quickly, getting 20,000 points and taking a game over wasn't really the best strategy. Yeah, I, I feel like I probably would have been careless towards the beginning because really what you need to do when you're doing high score attempts is think, how long is a continue going to last me? You know, are there any continues? Uh, what do I need to do in order to uh, have a good push? So figuring out that deaths happen really easily and that being careful is rewarding. I, I think that's a fine thing for you to do. Uh, to yes. take it, you know, rush a little bit for the first time to see uh, what the game is like. Yeah, once I realized how bad the platforms were, on the one death, I was I was like, you know, I'm just going to be as absolutely cautious as I possibly can. <laughs> that was one of the reasons I picked this game was uh, I, I thought there'd be a really interesting meta aspect to it where people would feel like going too slowly. There are all these other players who are really good. I'm going to be behind. But as soon as you start rushing, you get to screw. Up. So you had to find the right balance. And yeah. Fantastic job with that. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I, I, I had a, I had an interesting question. One of the players asked uh, if it's bad form to just stop playing, and I, I think it really depends on the game. Uh, multiple players towards the end of the game, you know, just had no chance of getting caught back up. So we saw a color of dinosaur, very cute <laughs> dinosaurs there, uh, and it, it was entertaining and related to the game. So I'd say, in that case, sure, color me a dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, seriously, though, uh, you know, this is a home computer that we never saw over here in the U.S., really, uh, over there in the U.K. One guy made it, as far as I can see. It's kind of cute for a single guy making a video game. Uh, you know, I could appreciate it for that. Was there anything redeemable in this, do you think? Or it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that bad of a game. Like, the, the controls weren't that bad. It other than the slope jumping it kind of your your character did what you wanted it to do so that's a plus oh yeah yeah <laughs> some games i've played 
that's good that the controls work. I, I think the platforming was the worst though, uh, because the the exact collision for the platform really didn't correspond with the picture. Yeah, I definitely missed quite a few of the uh, narrow platforms, but thankfully did not have a bombless pit under them. Oh yeah. Uh, I know Proton Jones final run, which he was making a push to move from fourth to second, you know, it was the platform that got him in the end. And mm. I can't really blame him because he was trying to jump on sloped platforms. Uh, and those were not treating him nicely at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, congratulations, you're in the bracket again. I'm super happy for you. Uh, any Anything that you're streaming these days, anything that people should go um, check out, or if not, any games that you're playing that you're loving? Yeah, I, I'm currently playing through, I never finished up Final Fantasy V, so I've been playing through that on stream over the past few days. Ooh, okay. Are you doing the Forge of Fiesta or just a uh, uh, fun just, playthrough? Just a straight fun playthrough of it. I've. Like, I, I think I stopped maybe halfway through last time I tried it when I was younger, so I'm okay. going to actually just play through the game this time. Fun! Yeah, are, are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Good. What's your favorite class, I'm curious, or your favorite job? Uh, I'm not sure. Bard seems really good right now. Oh, I love bards. <laughs> But I love anything that's sort of random. I love the dancer, okay? If you haven't gotten the dancer yet, uh, I think that's probably my favorite. Yeah, I got the dancer very recently. Haven't really done too much with it yet. Give the dancer a shot. Just All right. I professional will. recommendation from Bro Sanchez. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jakazam. Jeff, thank you for this game. I had a blast. Both of you, take care and have a fantastic day, okay? All right, you too. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Everybody, this is Kusun Grande, the Bad Video Game Tournament. You know, we are sad that some people are eliminated, but that is how things go. We've got to get down to to the right number in order to get to the brackets. And then guess what? Everybody except for one person gets eliminated. So, oh, it's always, you know, uncertain how far you'll make it, but seriously, making it into the tournament and just playing is always something commendable. So thank you, thank you, thank everybody who played. Up next, we have two more matches. I'm going to run a quick ad. Huge thank you to everybody who has followed, who has subscribed, who is helping uh, to pay bills, feed me, and purchase prizes for Kusa Grande. We give away over $2,000 worth of prizes, so all of that is extremely helpful. Thank you, thank you. Quick ad, and we'll be back. Widow Blue Bowie, thank you so much!